Hello everyone, once again, my name is Sir Said, and for today we're going to learn the different characteristics of moral principles. So moral philosophers in contemporary times are able to come up with a short list of specific and particular characteristics that taken as a whole can be a good description of the distinctiveness or the uniqueness of moral principles. While there is no universal agreement on the traits that moral or ethical principles must have, there is a wide consensus as to what these traits are. So let's learn the different characteristics of moral principles. Number one is prescriptivity from the word prescription. This refers to the practical or action guide action guiding nature of morality. Moral principles are intended to direct people on what to do and to avoid. It tries to influence the way we act in accordance with certain rules of conduct. Examples of this are injunctions or imperatives such as do not kill, do not harm your fellow men, love your neighbor, do not steal, tell the truth among others. So it gives a prescription of what should be done that is morally upright. Number two is impartiality. This means that an ethical or moral rule should be neutral when it comes to the question as to who will be its recipient. Moral standards are supposed to apply to everyone regardless of one's status and situation in life. Moral rules should not advance the interest of a few or worse of one person alone. Self-interest does not have a place in the proper moral standards. So in having moral beliefs and principles, one should always learn that a moral belief should be for everyone, not only for the benefit of one or two persons or a certain group. It should be for the goodness and rightness of all. Number three, overridingness. Moral standards must have hegemonic authority. This means that they should tower over all the other standards or norms of evaluation, whatever they may be. They are not the only standards where human actions can be judged or assessed, but they should take precedence over others. They have to be a prime and ultimate importance. Number four, autonomous from arbitrary authority. Let's define first what is arbitrary. Arbitrary is relating to a power or, or it can be a ruling body, unrestrained and autocratic. So a moral standard should stand on their own logic independent of the, arbitrar of the arbitrariness of the majority. We can always challenge on logical grounds the tyranny of numbers and the tide of public opinion on matters of what is right and what is wrong. Something is right or wrong regardless of what the majority decides or says. So it should be away from an autocratic power. Number five is publicity. This simply means that moral rules and principles must be made in public if they are to serve as guidelines to our actions. The obvious reason for this is that principles are made and promulgated to render advice as well as assign praise or blame to certain behaviors. It would be self-defeating, therefore, to just keep them from public knowledge. If moral principles are indeed impartial and of primordial value, then by all means, they have to be made public. Keeping them in secret defeats the very purpose why they are created in the first place. You do not hide something that you really think is genuinely good and, and noble, correct? And the last one is practicality. Moral rules should not be impossible to achieve or else they are not for men but for angels. This further means that the ethical standards must not be over what any ordinary human being is capable of doing. It should not lay a too heavy burden on people as well. 
for what practical use is a norm if it is simply impossible for anyone to follow. So it should be doable by an ordinary man. So that is the end of my presentation. I hope you've learned something about the characteristics of moral principles. See you again to our next class. Goodbye.